in this session let us see the equilaria criterion and its applications kind of like you know different cases okay for example in this case okay double circuit line okay if it is single circuit line condition is going to be only one condition we are about to say that for example in double circuit line if fault occurs in the middle of the section okay then what will happen for example in the double circuit line from here to here it is x1 and here to here this is x2 okay means that this is going to be x2 by 2 this is going to be x2 by 2 okay so in this case what will happen means generator to bus generator reactance will be there this reactance will be there and x2 by 2 is one reactance x2 by 2 is another reactance and that is going to be infinite bus okay so then what will happen the equivalent is going to be x1 and this is going to be x2 by 2 and this is going to be x2 by 2 okay so this equivalently is going to be delta okay so this delta for example this is delta okay so in this delta this is going to be x2 by 2 this is going to be x2 by 2 this is going to be x1 okay we have to convert this into equivalent star okay so once you convert actually the star delta conversion question may not come but like you know if they give p max values like you know in the first condition p1 max in the second condition p2 max in the third condition p3 max then problem can come okay so once i convert this into star here this reactance will come okay so here this is going to be generator and here this is going to be infinite bus okay so add this to here okay so then net equivalent is going to be star net equivalent is going to be star and then you please convert this star into equivalent delta into equivalent delta okay so then equivalent delta then what will happen my transfer reactance is going to be only x1 and this reactance this reactance need not be considered okay so transfer reactance is going to be this means that v1 v2 by x transfer reactants anyway point here is if it is under healthy condition under healthy condition let us consider my power angle characteristic is this so consider this as p1 maximum okay now once fault occurs okay if you consider values and if you derive like you know star to delta delta to star and all then you will come to know this net equivalent transfer reactance from here to here the transfer reactance is going to be more than net equivalent of under healthy condition okay so transfer reactance is increased means that p max has to be reduced okay so that p max characteristic is going to be this once fault is occurred once fault is occurred okay for example fault is cleared okay so once fault is cleared means that this faulty section is going to be removed under that condition what is x value is going to be actually compared to previous value it will be reduced compared to healthy conditions it will be increased okay so of course in calculations we have to see so under that condition my p3 max is going to be this so this is going to be p3 maximum okay so very simple like you know under healthy condition p1 max once fault occurred during the fault this is going to be p2 max okay and once fault section is cleared net equivalent is going to be p3 max now for example my mechanical input is here mechanical input is here okay so for example before the fault prior to the fault it was stable condition once it is stable it is going to operate here p1 and this is going to be delta naught okay now for example at this point of time we fault occurred now we have to see like you know what is critical clearing angle and what is clearing angle okay so critical clearing angle means that for example you are yet to what they say in order to isolate this faulty section we need some time why means relay should sense it and it has to give the input to circuit breaker and circuit breaker has to isolate the faulty section during that time if acceleration torque is more than decelerating torque under that condition what will happen like you know my synchronous machine will go out of synchronization okay so what is the maximum possible time that is available for us to clear the fault is going to be uh, critical clearing time okay so our focus here is we have to find out the critical clearing time now in this this particular problem most probably question will not come in gate like you know because we have to do star delta delta star and all but in the question if they give p1 max p2 max p3 max they can give 
okay anyway it is operating here okay now for example fault occurred during the fault what is the net power angle characteristic is going to be p2 max so from here it will fall here why mechanical is going to be same mechanical because mechanical power input is going to be same because mechanical time constant is more okay so for example if i consider mechanical power input is same but for the delta what is the electrical power electrical power is reduced so mechanical minus electrical is going to be acceleration now acceleration like you know my delta will increase will increase will increase like this okay so at one point of time at one point of time fault has to be cleared or not yes so for example at this point of time fault is cleared fault is clear means that at this point of time what will happen the moment fault is cleared electrically it will be shooted to here delta is going to be here electrically power characteristic is going to be shooted here okay under that condition mechanically is going to be less electrically is going to be more so my rotor will try to decelerate so what is the maximum possible like you know critical clearing time or critical clearing angle for example means what is acceleration p mac p mechanical minus p electrical is going to be acceleration and after that p mechanical is less electrical is more so this is going to be deceleration in the first swing in the first thing like you know what is the maximum deceleration is going to be this so this is going to be acceleration this is going to be deceleration okay so what is the maximum swing you can go what is the maximum delta you can go up to here only okay so this is going to be delta maximum okay this is going to be critical angle okay so this is going to be like you know for example if you are unable to like you know isolate your faulty section before this what will happen for example if it is extended here under that condition the accelerating area is going to be more decelerating is going to be less under that condition in the first swing because we discussed like you know in the equal area criterion we are here to analyze only first swing in the first swing if it is stable in the remaining swings automatically it will fall stable we discussed okay so in the first swing for example if it is critical clearing or this delta for example if you wait for more than this time what will happen the acceleration area is going to be more deceleration area is going to be less under that condition in the first swing it will go out of synchronization so what is the maximum time available for us to clear the what do you say fault is the point of interest for us now in this case like you know already equal area criterion we have seen okay so net acceleration area means with respect to power to delta should be zero okay so what is a1 what is a2 let us see for example a1 okay so what is a1 mechanical minus p2 maximum right so mechanical minus p2 maximum sin delta is going to be and like you know we have to integrate from delta zero to delta cr will give you this area so a1 is going to be mechanical minus p2 maximum sin delta d delta and we have to integrate from delta zero to delta cr delta zero to delta cr okay now what is p sorry what is a2 this a2 a2 is going to be deceleration area deceleration area is going to be like you know p3 maximum sin delta minus p mechanical because mechanical is going to be constant so this is going to be p3 maximum sin delta minus p mechanical d delta and we have to integrate from delta cr to delta maximum we have to equate these two okay if you equate these two the final like you know conclusion equation let me write like you know you are going to get delta cr or cos delta cr cos inverse will come the other side cos delta cr is going to be p mechanical into okay so delta maximum minus delta naught okay so and plus p3 maximum sin delta maximum minus p2 maximum sin delta naught by p3 maximum minus p2 maximum you have to remember this because you may of course till now they did not give okay but like you know we have to 
what do you say remember this because the same equation will come to second case also and third case also depending upon the situation we have to use okay so point here is very simple if fault occurs here this is the only one case like you know where during the fault also like you know power angle characteristics will be there which is going to be positive that is p2 maximum okay now let us consider the second case in the second case for example it is nearer to bus okay here circuit breaker is there and here fault occurred here fault occurred so before the fault the same thing will be there before the fault so before the fault for this let me derive here this is going to be p1 maximum and this is going to be mechanical mechanical okay so this is going to be delta naught at this point of time it is operating it is operating now for example if fault occurs if fault occurs what will happen if fault occurs because fault is nearer to bus means that directly fault is connected here only no? okay so the moment fault is connected here during the fault during the fault how much will be the power handling capacity or like you know power angle characteristic maximum is going to become zero because zero getting my point right so while like you know during the fall like you know net power transfer ability of this electrically will come down to zero mechanically is going to be same but electrically output is going to be zero from the generator okay under that condition it will come down means that mechanically is going to be same electrical came down to zero came here came down to zero mechanical minus electrical is going to be acceleration power now it will keep on accelerate 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 and after that for example after some time this circuit breaker isolated the faulty section isolated the faulty section once fault is isolated what is the power transfer capability is going to be now previously x1 x2 were in parallel now x2 is not there so what is the maximum power transferring capability is going to be reduced reduced right so means p1 maximum and after that p2 is going to be zero p2 maximum is going to be zero because same equation we are going to use and p3 maximum is going to be this so this is going to be p3 maximum p2 maximum is going to be zero now it is going to like you know from the first case it will come down electrical and it will give acceleration and after that like you know it will be shooted this is going to be the case okay actually like you know i have taken delta more delta that's why it came like that ultimately acceleration is going to be this deceleration is going to be this okay so acceleration should be equal to deceleration okay then it will give you critical clearing angle okay so what is this this is going to be delta maximum now use the same equation use the same equation in this equation p2 maximum is going to be zero okay so if p2 maximum is zero p3 maximum as usual like you know once these two are there when these two are there that is going to p1 maximum during the fault p2 maximum is going to be zero means once fault is cleared p3 maximum is going to be only this okay so previously we got two characteristics now we got sorry previously we got three characteristics now we got two power angle characteristics now for example if i think of on the bus fault occurred on the bus fault occurred okay on the bus fault occurred then what will happen the moment fault is cleared okay fault is cleared both will be there again getting my point right so prior to fault same p1 maximum will be there prior to fault same p1 maximum will be there and during the fault same it will become zero okay and once fault is cleared complete system is going to be existing so again it will come back to p1 maximum only so for example this is going to be p1 maximum okay now for example this is going to be mechanical okay so from mechanical once fault occurred on the bus okay then what will happen output power is going to be zero directly electrically so it will come back to down it will accelerate 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 once fault is clear once fault is clear once fault is clear fault is not there here fault is not there here once fault is cleared complete system is going to be existing again so x1 parallel with x2 only will be there so power angle characteristics will be shooted to the same point for example from here if i clear that out sorry fault 
this is going to be a1 this is going to be a2 okay so this is going to be a1 this is going to be a2 now means electrically is less mechanically is more acceleration electrically is more mechanically is less deceleration or deceleration is nothing but negative of acceleration total net acceleration should be zero getting my point right so a1 should be equal to a2 okay under this condition use the same equation again use the same equation again now p2 maximum will be zero p3 maximum is nothing but p1 maximum only getting my point right so for example if you see this if you say this, P1 maximum, P2 maximum is going to be 0. P3 maximum is going to be P1 maximum only. Okay. So, P2 maximum will not be there. P3 maximum is nothing but P1 maximum only. P3 maximum is nothing but P1 maximum only. P2 max will be 0. Equation will come. Okay. So, ultimately, altogether, this equation has to be remembered somehow. Okay. Now, means like, you know, beyond that, fourth case, will be there actually in a mechanical variation till now question did not come because mechanical variation like you know i don't think we have to consider because means all of a sudden like you know electrical time constant is less so suddenly like you know electrical power can be varied but suddenly mechanical power cannot be varied because mechanical time constant is more so for example anyway let me consider for example this is going to be pm1 pm1 okay so pm1 is here now mechanically suddenly actually i'm sorry like you know suddenly mechanical power variation should not be there okay but anyway for example if i consider okay suddenly mechanical power is changed okay so suddenly mechanical power is changed to here this is pm2 okay so where is my delta delta at starting will be here only this is going to be delta now okay so what will happen the moment you suddenly increase your mechanical power output input electrical power is going to be here only delta is going to be here only under that condition it has to be somehow delta not is here and a new delta is going to be here new delta is going to be here under stable condition so from here it has to accelerate and it has to decelerate it has to accelerate it has to decelerate and settle here settle here right so for example what is the maximum like you know in order to have critical uh, time like you know means mechanically is going to be more electrically is going to be here only so this is going to be acceleration this is going to be acceleration because mechanical minus electrical and after this mechanically is going to be here electrically should be more so this is going to be deceleration okay so this is going to be acceleration power this is going to be deceleration power area with respect to delta but frankly i don't want to discuss much about this okay so electrically these are the variations so now let us start problems